hi guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for stopping by if this is your first time here please be sure to click the subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you get notified every single time i post a new video if you're already part of the fabulous family what's popping what's happening what's good As you guys can see from the title today i have another let's talk luxury episode for you guys and today we are going to be discussing replicas and counterfeit goods in the world of luxury so a replica is defined as an exact copy or model of something especially on a smaller scale in luxury these are more commonly known as counterfeit goods so a little bit about counterfeit goods and the world of luxury. Generally speaking, the luxury goods market has grown from an estimated value of $200 billion in 1985 to an estimated over $300 billion now. Now, while this market has steadily grown over these years, studies have indicated great concerns about the existence of counterfeit goods and replicas, as well as the generation of loss caused by these counterfeit goods. As of today, the estimated value of this loss generated by counterfeit goods in the luxury market is estimated to be between the value of 10 and 15 billion dollars annually so today i basically felt like kind of picking you guys' brain a little bit and just having a discussion on replicas counterfeit goods on the luxury market whether it's good or bad or the ethical kind of considerations following this kind of new phenomenon was well, not really new anymore but you guys get what i mean as well as what my beliefs and opinions are of replicas and counterfeit goods in the luxury market now i'm not someone who has an exact black or white opinion about replicas or counterfeit goods i'm of the general belief that at the end of the day we need to let people do what they want to do whether we agree with it or not i don't feel like everyone should be ostracized for doing something that we may not particularly agree with or that we may agree with not everything needs to be commented on not everything needs to be like a thin piece or a discussion at the end of the day watch your pocket face your front drink water mind your business so that's kind of always been my general stance um, about replicas and counterfeit goods when you try to consider basically the ethics behind this i mean naturally it is very clear that it's somewhat unethical because you know people are stealing ideas and concepts created by somebody else only to mass produce them for a cheaper price basically allowing more people to buy their product as opposed to the original so it is inevitable that this practice would be unethical however i do strongly feel that when you do generally get the opportunity to consider ethics when it comes to consumerism it does sort of come from a point of privilege what i mean by this is the fact that even when you consider fast fashion and how many fast fashion brands or companies have been exposed to maybe using sweatshops or having unethical practices or not paying their workers enough generally they aren't always the most sustainable and not ethical when you consider fast fashion brands like this the factor of privilege comes in when you consider that those without loads of money don't have many options and often have no choice but to keep going back to these fast fashion brands and companies as they are cheaper rather than being able to afford obviously more sustainable ethical fashion brands or companies they just don't have the money to afford that i feel like a similar thing is seen in the world of luxury as much as we can identify that creating counterfeit goods is generally unethical, some people just generally do not have the money to afford the real thing. So is it necessarily unethical? Yes, but some people just don't have the money to afford the real thing. And I think naturally, like any human being on this planet, people want nice things. Now, I also understand the argument that many people tend to have when it comes to luxury goods, which is if you just cannot afford the original, leave it alone and buy something else. And I do also understand why somebody would say that. However, I do feel like this general concept um, does ignore the fact that sometimes people just like the design of something for example, even if I was considering non-luxury goods, if I like the design of Nike's Air Force One, I like the design. So if I don't have the money to buy the original Nike Air Force Ones, I'm going to probably buy something that's the closest to that. Whether I'm buying something close from PLT, Primark, anywhere else, I generally like the design. So I'm trying to buy something as close as possible to that. The thing that people tend to forget is often we see it in society people get ridiculed or laughed at for buying these similar things how many times have you seen the what are those vines videos 
all sorts of videos on social media, memes, all of that, where the person in that situation may not have been able to afford the original thing, so they went and bought the next best thing, and they are getting ridiculed for that. So I understand why someone would feel like, why am I going to go to Primark and buy something that's similar to these Nike Air Force ones and people are going to ridicule me or laugh at me for it? Why not maybe go to somebody else who's going to sell me a replica? So I just feel like it's kind of a lose-lose situation for those that don't have the money to afford the original product, whether it's a luxury or non-luxury, because if they buy a dupe from PLT or Primark, they'll get laughed at. Um, if they buy a fake that maybe has a tick facing the wrong way, they'll still get laughed at. So I feel like it is a lose-lose situation. And I feel like often statements like, oh, if you can't afford it, just leave it alone. Stick to what you can afford. People forget that a lot of the time people do get pretty cool for those things. So I understand why somebody would feel like, let me just buy a replica because they are seeking the status that is associated with the original product. Taking it back to luxury, it's the same thing. Some people just don't have the money to buy the original. And I do feel like sometimes people feel like if I buy, for example, the pouch I have that is a Bottega Veneta ripple from PLT, somebody might feel like if I buy the PLT one, it's not the same thing. Somebody might laugh at me. Um, so they go ahead and buy a fake from somewhere else. And that's why I feel like it's not really my place to judge why somebody would have bought a replica or for me to say I don't agree with it because as much as we can say oh people being laughed at on the internet is very fickle very silly unfortunately it doesn't affect people differently so that being said I don't feel like it's necessarily my place to judge so from the first question when I was looking at whether it's ethical or not obviously we've segued into the second bit which is why people might actually purchase replicas or counterfeit goods I've obviously just answered that at the end of the first bit but I do feel like as a continuation of that another thing that I do find is more common nowadays actually is the fact that people who also realize the value of a dollar as i highlighted in one of my episodes throughout the series not all price is determined by the cost of that product so if i'm going to pay five thousand dollars for a chanel bag don't think that chanel is only making two grand profit and it costs them three thousand dollars to make that bag girl no the cost price of that bag is probably a fraction of that three thousand dollars so i think people are starting to catch on and realize that if you're looking at value from the point of cost what you are paying for is not the true value of that bag i don't know if any of you have seen the interview i think it was that chad ochocinco the ex nfl player did where he was basically talking about how he doesn't necessarily waste his money on all of these like really expensive luxury goods jewelry all of that stuff because he knows that he has the money he doesn't need to flaunt it to anyone he doesn't need to prove it to anyone and he would obviously rather save his coin and i feel like a lot more people are kind of jumping onto that bandwagon where they would rather buy maybe replicas or just cheaper things things that are very luxury adjacent but not on the extreme end of like high-end luxury goods in order to save their money so i think this is also a contributing factor to why people are purchasing replicas and luxury goods another factor and i think i briefly touched upon this when i was answering the first question but i do feel like it's an undeniable status that is associated with luxury that i feel like society in general may downplay you get arguments a lot of the time or people saying like i said things like oh if you can't afford it leave it alone but it is undeniable how people of a lower class get treated or people who seemingly appear to have less money get treated even on social media the moment people know that you have more money or you can afford more expensive things people definitely treat you differently i don't feel like that's something that any one of us can deny and i do feel like a lot of people are after or seek this status that is associated with these luxury goods therefore they have to resort to buying replicas because if you generally can't afford it what else can you do buying a plt equivalent of the bottega veneta pouch it's not going to give you the same status as having the real thing so naturally i feel like people may chase the status that is associated with these goods hence they turn to replicas or counterfeit goods lastly i'm just going to talk you guys through my personal opinions about replicas and counterfeit goods as i touched upon briefly in the beginning i'm literally like on the fence i'm neither here nor there i will definitely say younger me was very much like against them i was not rocking with them i was like if you don't have the money leave it alone i do feel like the more that i learned about luxury when i realized that a lot of the time you are not paying for the actual cost price of the item but just more so the brand value associated with the luxury brand 
the image, the status, the exclusivity, all of those things associated with the product, that's more so what you're paying for. So the more I learned about that and realized that, I kind of felt like, okay, I kind of get why someone would feel like, why am I gonna spend a 20K on a bag when the cost of that bag is maybe 2K max? if that you know so in that aspect there was definitely a shift in my opinion i will say though that i do feel like if um i personally wanted a luxury item and i found that plt or mango or zara or wherever has something very similar i think i'd much rather just go and buy that it's close enough it's gonna do the job and i'm saving a fraction of my money than buying the replica of that thing because one a lot of the time you, when you buy replicas you have to consider the grading of that replica what i mean by this is you have to consider whether you're gonna buy the aliexpress equivalent or you're gonna buy it from a higher grade replica producer or manufacturer if it's from aliexpress and it costs you less than 20 pound the bag is not going to last so you then kind of have to brace yourself for you're spending 20 pound on something that's not gonna last whereas if you maybe bought the plt or zara or mango equivalent it would have lost you a little bit longer the other thing though is if you do buy it from a higher grade replica manufacturer it's going to be pricey so higher grade replica manufacturers basically sell their products for anything between 200 to 800 us dollars so this is obviously high for something that's not the original thing however when you consider the fact that you're paying half price for a higher grade replica this might generally attract people the benefit with these higher grade replicas is that they do have a much 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 better quality like they can last you a very very long time similar time frame to the original product so some people do go for the higher grade replicas so i do feel like if you end up opting for the replica instead of the fast fashion equivalent you kind of have to be prepared to make that decision for yourself if you are going to pay for the aliexpress equivalent i would generally advise against it and i personally wouldn't do that because the zara or the mango the plt one is probably going to last a lot longer than the aliexpress one if however you're gonna go after the higher grade replica then by all means do that because then that replica will 100 percent have more quality than the fast fashion equivalent on the note of like grading of replicas i do want to note that a lot of people actually make use of these higher grade replicas um there's been a bunch of like websites that have come and gone because obviously it is illegal so they can't put it out there on their website like url or the main channel not channel girl or the main heading of the website that you know they're producing counterfeit goods or replicas so some websites end up being shut down because you know they've been caught out but it's very very common for a lot of people to buy higher grade replicas which you probably see in your everyday life more often than you realize not everyone who's tagging luxury goods is wearing the original thing now i'm not saying if you see your favorite influencer or content creator that is fake it's probably not or it might be but i'm not saying that they're copying fakes but i do feel like in everyday life a lot more people cop um these higher grade replicas than you think and i think for me what's very interesting is when you consider replicas and counterfeit goods a lot of the time they are more looked down on in the context of the black race if you know i don't want to get controversial but it is what it is a lot of the time black people as per get like more flack for these counterfeit goods like oh you're rocking fakes oh this oh that da, 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 da. Uh, infamous fake page on twitter like little things like that when a lot of non-black people actually wear or use counterfeit goods a lot of people are after saving their money at my last retail job one of the caucasian girls i worked with actually showed me this website this whole link and this whole like world of higher grade replicas where she would shop from so on that website chanel bags would probably be like maybe 800 pounds as opposed to like two to four k that you would buy in the actual chanel store she was basically explaining to me that she obviously does it to save money because at the end of the day just like non-luxury goods in luxury unless you're like a very heavy luxury enthusiast trends come and go so she thought like what's the point of me spending a thousand to three thousand pounds on things when i can spend a fraction of that price knowing that a year or two down the line i'm not going to even like the same thing so in her case in her experience she would never be questioned whether it was real or fake and i feel like this is the point i was trying to make that a lot of the time when you see non-black people with luxury things more often than not people 
don't stop and question them whether it's real or not whereas with black people we get that all the time is that real is that not now i'm not saying it's an issue to want to question the authenticity of something but i do feel like other races get away with wearing or using um, replicas of counterfeit goods and can live their life casually whereas i feel like with black people we tend to put this immense pressure on ourselves and on one another to is it real is it fake da -da -da -da. like and it's so negative and i think it's quite sad that all of these other people are kind of getting away i think they call it scotch free girl i don't know <laughs> but they're getting away with wearing these things that aren't necessarily authentic and nobody cares nobody's questioning them about them and i feel like once i actually came to realize that i had less of an issue with counterfeit goods and i'm not saying if somebody does that i should do it too or if they can do it why can't i but quite literally we're not questioning or ostracizing other races for wearing or using non um authentic or replicas of luxury goods so why should we do that to one another or why should i come and be like mm, why is she wearing that it's not real do you know what i mean in conclusion about my opinion about these replicas i feel like don't lie that's just my personal thing if i were ever to feel like i want a louis vuitton on the go bag i'm telling you guys now even if my money became not even if when my money becomes long i highly doubt that i'm going to sit there and waste my money not waste but like spend my money on like things that are like 10 to 50k when it's just a bag maybe i say this now because i'm broke 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 <laughs> but i just personally don't see the point and for example the louis vuitton on the go tote bags you don't easily get like fast fashion dupes or equivalents of that so if i wanted something like that i'm not gonna lie to you guys i am not against getting a replica i just personally wouldn't lie about it i'm not going to come and tell you guys this is an authentic louis vuitton bag or tag louis vuitton in my pictures knowing very well that i'm wearing a replica for me personally that's the only thing i feel like people shouldn't do if you are wearing a replica it's totally fine but there's no need to come and claim that it's a real thing that's my only thing but again at the end of the day i just feel like as a society we should probably get to a point where somebody can post their louis vuitton bag or real or not and we don't immediately think oh my gosh why is it real like why are you concerned about whether people are holding real or fake things just live your life face your front if you want the real thing get yourself the real thing if you don't then you don't but generally i just feel like do what you want to do just don't lie about it and as far as everyone else is concerned let everybody else do whatever they please well guys that brings us to the end of my video i do hope you guys learned something i hope that i picked your brains a little bit maybe changed your opinion maybe you were for them and now you're against them maybe you were against them and now you're for them but let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts and opinions are on replicas and counterfeit goods in luxury and whether you yourself would purchase one or not please be sure to like share and subscribe and until my next video bye